Hey everybody, uh, I got a little different video for you guys today. Uh, so this is our LG dryer and uh, it's got a problem and we're going to try to fix it. Uh, let me show you what the problem is. Okay, you turn it on and uh, you select the mode you want to go in. I'm going to pick normal mode, okay? And now you could pick any mode, it'll still have the same problem. And look at here, normal mode, it's going to take 41 minutes, right? So the way this works is if it completes drying in less than 41 minutes, there's a uh, moisture sensor in here that detects that and shuts the machine off so you don't waste energy, okay? And what's happening is this moisture sensor that's in here uh, keeps going off after about 10 or 15 minutes and keeps turning the thing off. Uh, so it thinks that the clothes are dry when they're not. So we're going to take out the moisture sensor and have a look at it. It may be dirty. It may need replacing. I don't know, but we're going to see if we can fix it. All right. Step one is to unplug the dryer. Don't do this while the dryer is plugged in. Uh, here is the lint trap and here is the moisture sensor. Okay. These two bars right here, that's the moisture sensor. And uh, in order to remove that, we have to remove the whole uh, lint trap. So I'm going to take this screw out right here. Uh, these two screws right here and then there's one more screw right over here somewhere okay so let me do that and uh, I'll come back after that all right guys I got uh, most of it and uh, here's what's left okay I still have to remove this this is the actual uh, sensor okay and if you look here there's an extra another screw right in there okay I don't know if you can see it but it's back in there right there Okay, so that screw needs to be taken out also. So let me do that and we'll continue. All right, I, I got that screw out. Now there's a connector here. Okay, uh, right here. It's a two, two wire connector. Uh, both wires are white. So when you put it back in, it doesn't matter uh, wh which one goes where. Uh, so I'm going to pull those out and that should be it. All right, guys. So here's the actual uh, moisture sensor. And it's basically just uh, two uh, metal conductive bars. And uh, here's where the two wires plugged in. And the other side, okay, is just, uh, they're just hanging there. They're not connected to anything on the other side. Uh, but the two wires, one, one wire goes there, one wire goes there. And uh, let's, let's take a look at this and see how they, they work. All right, let's take a look at how this uh, moisture sensor works, okay? Uh, this is not going to be detailed, it's just basic. Uh, so you have your microcontroller board here, and you have the two white wires coming out. Those are the wires that attach to the moisture sensor. Okay, and I'm going to draw the sensor uh, metal pieces like this. Okay, that's the two conductive uh, metal pieces on that sensor. And then this side of the sensor connects to nothing, okay? So... This, these two wires go to the microcontroller. So what happens is you put your clothes in to dry. Uh, your clothes are wet, okay, and they start tumbling, and they go across the sensor, okay? So now what happens is because the water is conductive, you have electricity. you got current flowing from here back into here. So the microcontroller detects that, and it knows that there's wet clothes in the dryer, okay? And once your clothes dry, then they could touch the sensor and nothing will happen because there's no water in them anymore. So there will be no current flowing. So that's how this microcontroller uh, knows that the clothes are dry. When the sensor opens again and the short circuit goes away, then it knows that the clothes are dry and it'll uh, stop the dryer. Okay. So I think what's happening in my case is after years of use and, uh, you know, fabric softener and all that stuff, there's a film on the top of these sensors. And when the clothes go on there, even if they're wet, that film prevents uh, current from flowing. Uh, it prevents the short circuit. So the sensor thinks the clothes are always dry and it just stops the dryer. So let's, uh, let's take a look at these uh, metal uh, uh, conductors to see if that's the case. All right, let's check for continuity and see if I'm correct. So <clears throat> let's go on the other side first. So you can see if I go from here to there, 
these are not connected okay because they're they're open on this side but if i go from here to here okay that's one bar and here's the other bar okay so the bars are good they're not broken now if i go on this side let's see what happens from here to here oh look at that nothing on and off nothing here look at that let's see look i'm on it it's not even making contact okay let's see this one this one's a little better okay well you see what's happening this bottom one has uh probably has a film across it and it needs to be cleaned so i'm just going to clean it up with some alcohol all right let's see if that helped at all let's test it one more time Mm, not really not good all right so that means whatever's on there is kicked on pretty good so the next option is to use some sandpaper and sand it a little bit so i'm gonna do that right now all right i've got an old piece of uh 330 grit sandpaper here and let's sand it and see if that works some alcohol wipe it down let's see if that helped look at that it's much better much better sand it some more Let's wipe it down again I think that should be fine My meter okay well it's much better than what it was so i think it's gonna work now and uh yeah, that's basically how you, you clean these. Now you just uh, put it back on and everything should work. Well, I hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching.